Hello, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about cytokine-rich plasma. Now, this is a little different than PRP. PRP is whole platelets that uh, physicians either inject um, with an activator or they inject and let the body activate it best, as best it can. Well, it's not activated PRP. Cytokine-rich plasma, in my hands, is a, lice, is a lysate of, of, of PRP. So what I do is I lyse or burst the platelets. Now, I'm going to show you what this does for me. So the growth factors in the platelet are located in alpha granules, and the objective is to get those growth factors out, along with the cytokines. So you can kind of think of it like a lemon. It's got seeds and pulp and skin and, and all kinds of things that you don't really want. But you got the lemon juice. That's what you're after. Now, platelets have two basic functions. One is when you're cut, they're going to, help, they're going to clot and they're going to help seal that, that bleeding. The second function is to release growth factors and cytokines to initiate the healing process. So that's really all I'm particularly interested in in hair restoration surgery. I don't have a problem with clotting. So I'm after pure lemon juice. I don't care about the pulp or the seeds or the skin. And that's what I do with sonication. And I have my own protocol. Uh, and following my protocol, um, I did an ELISA testing to look at the growth factor concentrations because I was looking for the optimal protocol. So what I do is I sonicate these uh, platelets. It's really a cavitation using ultrasonic energy to burst the platelets. And I keep them at four degrees Celsius because if I don't, that chamber in there, that fluid, this cavitation fluid is going to get really hot, probably close to about 70 degrees Celsius. So in my first study, I looked at a 15-minute sonication and I looked at a, uh, a single type of, of PRP, which was Regen. And what I found was that 15 minutes of sonication would produce about an equal amount of the PDGF, which is one of the growth factors we, we look at, as you can get from traditional activation. And you can see when you do not activate the PRP, you do get PDGF but you don't get near as much. So activation is the way to go. But let's just keep looking. <clears throat> In the next study, I compared two different types of PRP. One was Angel Arthrex and the other was Regen. And I took it up to 30 minutes of sonication. And at 30 minutes of sonication, what I found was I was getting five times the concentration of this high molecular weight protein. This is a 24.3 kilodalton growth factor. What about VEGF? Well, with the Angel Arthrex, uh, I got uh, five times the concentration of VEGF, which is a 21 kilodalton protein. But when we look at uh, TGF beta, which also is a heavy protein, again, five times the concentration. And every time Angel Arthrex outperformed Regen, so it was very clear as well that there is a marked difference between the two different uh, PRP systems. And I found that <laughs> it goes, it, the differences between PRP kits is enormous. And most of the physicians I know out there don't even make PRP. They think they are, but they don't. Now, what about a low molecular weight protein? Well, this is a IGF. It's a 7.6 kilodalton protein, and it's in similar concentrations regardless of whether we sonicate it or traditionally lyse it or even untreated PRP. So, but Arthrex outperformed Regen. So the, what's happening here is uh, I believe that when you activate the PRP, the clot traps the, high, the heavy proteins, the high molecular weight proteins. So it's like a screen door. You know, the tiny bugs can get through, but the bigger ones can't. 
And these bigger growth factors are important, like VEGF is important for, uh, you know, improving the circulation to your hair. So um, it, it, it stands to reason that we got to study it, we got to test it, and we definitely found that we were getting at six months an increase in hair density, at least a 50% increase at six months. And here you can see this example before and after PRP, the hair density more than doubled. Um, so again, we want to squeeze the lemon, but we want to get everything out. So I wanted to study it. And so I took a patient who had equal hair loss on both sides. I put an equal number of grafts on both sides. On one side, I used calcium gluconate activated PRP. And on the other side, I used sonicated PRP. And then I looked at the growth. And what I found was that the growth was coming in faster on the side where I used uh, cytokine rich uh, sonicated PRP. So it was speeding up the rate of growth of grafts. So I designed a study. And in this study, I put 80 grafts in a four square centimeter box. And then within each box, I injected either saline, PRP from a good kit, or sonicated PRP or lice platelets from the same kit. Now in the front of the scalp, I put grafts and the grafts grew fine. I put sonicated PRP there from the same kit as well. Now that sonicated PRP in the front of the scalp probably polluted the results of the study a little, but there was a marked difference between the sonicated PRP and the, uh, the saline or standard PRP. Uh, and I kept moving the boxes around to try to get away from the areas where I'd put sonicated PRP. And in the study, we went back again with my marker, and I put a dot on every single graph that was growing, and then I counted them up. And in three and a half months, 89% of the graphs in the sonicated PRP were growing. Uh, calcium gluconate activated standard PRP, I had 73.5%, and in saline, 57%. Now, I would expect a minimum of 30 to 40% of those grafts to be growing. And that's why I think in the saline, it was up a little <clears throat> at three and a half months. It was because some of the growth factors in the front of the scalp drained back into my study area in the crown. Uh, but at four and a half months, uh, we had 99% of the grafts growing in the sonicated PRP. So this sonicated PRP is definitely good for your hair. We know it's going to increase hair density if you have native hair. If you don't have any native hair, it can't, you can't increase hair density in bald skin if no hair is there. But it will speed up the regrowth of your grafts, and it may improve the overall survival rate of your grafts. So when we go and look at four and a half months it's with traditional activated PRP from a good kit, not, not the junk that a lot of doctors use, uh, we had 75% compared to 99%, and in saline, 72% versus 75% in calcium gluconate. And I would expect a minimum of 40, 40 to 50% at four and a half months. So uh, we definitely uh, are doing something with these higher concentrations of the high, high molecular weight growth factors. So I think it's pretty exciting. I encourage anybody that's getting a hair transplant to uh, have high-quality sonicated PRP. I do not expect you to necessarily be able to find a physician who will deliver this. A good sonicating machine is going to run a physician about uh, $23,000, $24,000, and uh, he's going to have to maintain it too. So there, and it takes, a, it takes literally an hour to sonicate P, uh, these cells for 30 minutes because 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So no, very few physicians are going to spend literally two hours to two and a half hours to give you this, this treatment, which is much better for you than, than standard good PRP. And again, there's a big difference between PRP that is not good and PRP that is good. And I will get more into that, but the key is to get somewhere between a million and a million five plate, 1.5 million platelets most PRP kits will not exceed around 400 to 450,000 platelets, and some PRP kits make platelet counts much lower than you find in whole blood. So it's, they're actually making platelet-poor plasma. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. A uh, lot more to come, and uh, appreciate you listening. Four Hair is run by Dr. Cole with 30 years of few hair restoration experience, and we offer the most cutting edge technology available. In fact, the Four Hair Enterprise sub company Cole Instruments manufactures custom made tools and automated tools for hair restoration physicians all over the world. Our quality, expertise, and skills are superior to other clinics. Our reputation and results are the best in the world. It's time to restore your hair, it's time to choose Four Hair. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the little bell button to get notifications of Forehair's video uploads. For online consultation click on the link on the screen or in the video description.